In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be his mother, Virgin Mary, our beloved mother too. Dear brothers and sisters, today we are celebrating the conversion of St. Paul. Not just himself, but his conversion. This is very interesting. He was a scribe, a Pharisee, very renowned, with a brilliant future. But he was also persecuting the Christians, those of whom one said they were on a new way. He had already agreed to kill Stephanus, Stephen, and now he was on his way to Damascus to arrest Christians, perhaps to kill them also, when Jesus is talking to him. And he needed this encounter, this personal encounter with Jesus, as all of us we need to have. Well, and Jesus is talking to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And Saul is answering, Lord, who are you? I am Jesus of Nazareth. So he needs this very personal encounter with Jesus, just as we do. And what is astonishing for me is this. God didn't cast away Saul because he had sinned, because he was a murderer, but he kept on to him on his vocation because God knew what were the capacities, the charisms in this man Saul. And from the persecutor he became an evangelization. Dear brothers and sisters, this is the call of God upon us. And as Saul didn't know who Jesus was, perhaps he did not really know to this point who he himself was. And we just get to know who we are ourselves when we hear the call of the Lord. So by the intercession of St. Paul, let us ask the Lord that we also may hear in our hearts Jesus talking and revealing us our true identity and our true call in our lives. It is never too late as it was not too late for St. Paul. In the name of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. A blessed day to each one of us.